My name is Conrad Meyer, and in this section I'm going to walk you through some Gen 4 AutoTrack diagnostics. First I'm going to click into the guidance page, and we're actually going to click into the steering optimization portion of the AutoTracks. We're going to start on uh, monitor performance. On monitor performance, we can monitor, and well, we can't adjust from here, but we can monitor the tracking error of both the machine and the implement from the same page while we're auto tracking across the field. Next we'll talk about some steering adjustments. Uh, steering sensitivity has mainly to do with how fast the tractor or machine may steer in a quick hurry uh, to get to the line. The acquire sensitivity has to do with how fast the machine will actually lock on the line. If the acquire sensitivity is too low, it may be really lazy and slow to get to the line, and if it's too high, it may overshoot and do some general essing until it actually gets locked on. Line sensitivity tracking determines how aggressively auto track responds to off tracking air. Line sensitivity heading determines how aggressively auto track responds to heading airs. Heading lead determines the impact of the yaw rate on the machine performance. Steering response rate adjusts the rate at which the machine maintain or steers to maintain good tracking. And curve sensitivity has to do with how lazy or overshot it may take a curve. So if the sensitivity is too high, it may be too aggressive, and if it's too low, it may be lazy and stay out to the outer side of the curve. Next, we have the option to um, change settings on the implement side. Uh, in this scenario, we are not set up with an implement uh, receiver or any implement guidance. And then I want to point out that down here at the factory reset um, for reset defaults, we have the ability to completely reset and restore the factory defaults of all of these settings on the steering adjustment page. So if at some point you get to, to the point where you think you've made things worse, you can always go back and restore the factor de defaults by just pressing this button. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call at Sloan Implement. We'll be happy to help.